wanted to get a shot of this guy because I'm thinking of painting my boat with his pattern. I hope that's coming out on the camera all right. I got all the crap ground off the outside of this and then I immediately put some resin on it so that today I could hopefully sand it. Yeah. I made sure I put lots of hardener in. I mean, not more than it should be. Yeah. All right, where do I start here? I guess I can start by getting off all the little dirt globs. Not dirt globs, but like, you know, chunky bits that ended up in here because I, you know, had uh, not entirely smooth resin. There were some chunks. Yeah, those come off pretty easy. I got all the major nubs sanded off. And now it's raining. Not a lot, just enough to get everything moist. So I'm hoping this blows over pretty soon. Ah, son of a... No, oh, fine. I'm not going to get this done today. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, fuck. I decided, after I got all the real rust bits off, I decided I didn't want to sand anymore. And I wanted to try just spackling. And I think I've got a pretty good surface on here. Maybe a few bits of dirt I'll sand off, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. I don't think I need to sand this. It's not perfect, but it's close enough to forego the sand. Now, sanding is pretty horrible, so it's very easy to convince me not to sand. <laughs> yeah, this, this looks good. Yeah, definitely not perfect, but not bad. I'll take it. All right, it's the next day. Now I really need to decide, do I sand or do I just go with spackle surface? Oh man, I think I just leave spackle surface. It's pretty good. And if I start sanding, I'm gonna lose that glossy surface. I'll get, I'll get a little bit smoother overall, but I'll lose the gloss. So I think I'm just gonna wax it and call it done.
upgrading my seat while I'm waiting for the wax to dry. Right, I think it's good. All right, come on, muscles. Next, reinforce this area. You know, it could probably handle the pressure of sails just as it is. Still, I like to have some extra. You don't have to worry about it. That'll keep this thing from moving that way or that way. I can put one on the other side too. I'm about 90% sure those will not interfere with the cover here. Oh, and I think I can test my chair now. I leaned this against it while it was hardening just to give it a bit of a curve that way so it would have strength and wouldn't curve that way when I sit in it. Hopefully, I'd rather it curve that way. Chair goes on that side. Whatever, they're both the same. Let's put it on the side with the steering. I have two of these things that came from something else. And I think they go right there. Ish. Bit of trimming and grinning. Good. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, good stuff. All right, now that middle box there should not be moving anywhere. I need to reinforce this guy. Or should I do the sail connectors up there? I don't know. I'm gonna eat some, eat some lunch. I brought some lunch with me. All right, I got this silly thing stuck up here. And that will hypothetically be the pivot point of the sail thing. That will also be roughly the lowest height that it goes down to. Because the mast would come back through here, and then up above that, the sail would curve down and end up being even with the mast at the bottom. So I need that to be like roughly eye level. So I can still see out the side where it comes down. And then where it's up in the middle, I can see through, no problem. And then also when the sail's up, that'll be the bottom. And I'll still be able to see under it. Yeah. 
Ooh, I think right there. Yeah, right there. I'm thinking if I fiberglass the sides of whatever this thing is, and then fiberglass it to this thing somehow, I don't know how yet, then I can cut the middle out, and then I'll have two big hinge points that are lined up with each other. And I have a, a steel pipe, a stainless steel pipe that fits through that, and that can be the hinge pin. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, so fiberglass around this, and then connect it to this somehow. All right. Man, I'm getting full sun, blue skies all day. So I'm taking a quick trip back home to plug some stuff in. All right, plug stuff in, got a charged walkie-talkie, administered hugs and kisses, stole a snack, and I'm out of here. Okay, I resin those in, and as long as they don't move before it cures, should be able to go over this with a bunch of fiberglass and make it really strong. Hmm. All right. If I'm lucky, I might be able to fiberglass those in today. Sun's getting low. Ooh, yes! Got it. Ooh, I'm just about out of sun. I'm clean up and get out of here. If I can get this much productivity tomorrow, I should have the front thing done. Might even be able to start painting. Uh, that looks like the new propeller, but has nothing to do with propulsion. Oh, that came out great.